Hi, eBay sellers. It's Suzanne, and it's time for another exciting episode of eBay Supersize Sales of $100 or more. The date is April 2021, and these sales are taken from my Facebook group. If you're not a member, the link is below the video. We have a thread every Monday where sellers post their sales. And then I go in and review those sales and extract some interesting information so that we can all become better sellers. So I want to thank everyone who participates. And this thread can get really long, 500 comments or more. So I really wish I had time to include every single $100 sale every month, but that would be a huge project. So I'm doing my best to keep up with showing you these sales in these videos. And I really try to focus on findable and recognizable items so that when you're out there looking for items to sell at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, or even your own house, you will have a visual on what kinds of items sell for a hundred dollars or more. So we're going to get started off here with what has been in the past a controversial item. So feel free to comment below. All opinions are welcome here. Just be nice. <laughs> Just treat each other with respect, but your comments and discussions are welcome. We've got Brian Rappaport, who is a frequent poster on Money Making Mondays and always sells interesting items. He paid $12 at Goodwill about 18 months ago, sold for best offer of $90. This is a vintage Ouija board game. And while it is less than $100, I thought it was worth including here simply because there are a lot of mixed feelings on selling this type of item. So feel free to discuss that below the video. Bottom line, $12 sold for $90. And now we have Margie De Molina. This item sold for $95. I'm including it here because there's some good conversation that will help you in your search for items to sell. She paid $19 online for Ash Moon Platform Sneakers and sold for full price of $95 plus shipping in five months. Lynn Merritt said, I heard these kinds of shoes are really hot now. So that is your tip. People want these. And Margie said, I'd never heard of them, saw the comps, and gave it a chance. I had a feeling they would be sold to New York or California, and they did go just north of L.A. So there you can see she paid $19, and they sold for $95. Platform sneakers. File that one away in your brain. Okay, now we've got Louis Prizzy. He paid... $3.99 at Savers, sold in one week on auction. This is a rare vintage Disney singing Ariel Little Mermaid doll, sold for $99.95. Julie Harden pulled this out of the bins. It was being tossed aside by others. It was in rough shape, but had great graphics, sold in a day or two. This is a vintage double cola soda cardboard advertising calendar. She didn't say how much she paid, but it couldn't have been much if she got it at the Goodwill bins. Sold for exactly $100 plus shipping. Okay, another item from Lewis. Purchased for $8.99. That's $8.99 at a thrift store. Listed for $135.00 took best offer after about two months. Vintage Black Panther on log, TV, lamp, mid-century modern ceramic item, $108, he paid nine bucks for this. Now we've got Jamie Lynn Galloway, 
paid $13 at a thrift store, sold in three days for $109.97 plus shipping. Cottontail Cottages Bunny Village 9-piece set Easter decor. And this sold the day after Easter. $109.97. So just remember that eBay knows no seasons. If you have it listed, seasonal items sell all year. Here's proof of that. Okay, Carol Kirk. I woke up this morning to $109.99 plus shipping American Girl doll sale. She was part of a lot that I had purchased on Facebook Marketplace for $250 about six weeks ago. So I have about $25 into her. I sold her last week for a best offer, but the buyer asked me to cancel the sale a day later. Today, she sold for my full asking price, which was $30 more than the best offer I had accepted. So sometimes those non-payers are a blessing because the person that buys it after the item is relisted might pay more. So here she is, American Girl Doll, 2008, Truly Me, Blonde Hair, Blue Eyes, Near Mint Condition. Now we've got Ken McNamara. And this is not a pots and pans sale. Paid $4 for this item, sold for $110. He said it's been sitting in the death pile for a while. Finally listed and sold in four days. Amy said, I see yarn all the time at Goodwill, but know nothing about it, so never purchase. And Ken said, Listen up, everybody. Ken says, it's like that E.F. Hutton commercial. When Ken talks, people listen. Look for the natural fibers, wool, cashmere silk, angora, alpaca, etc. Large lots of a single color sell much better than a single ball of yarn. So the item is Coates and Clark Luster Sheen Vintage Knitting Yarn, 27 skeins of blue. $4, sold for $110. Jessica Sharman found this item at an estate sale the day before yesterday for $15. Took a best offer yesterday of $110 plus shipping. And when I got off work yesterday, I found a $20 bill on the ground by my car. It's like I got my money back. <laughs> I love that. The item is Chanel number 19. 3.4 ounce fragrance and it's vintage. So $15 sold for 110 and then she found 20 bucks on the ground. So the thrifting angels were with her yesterday. Wendy Hodge got this free at an estate sale. Vintage Pyrex Wear Glass Coffee Percolator. It sold for $110. It's from 1972. Rachel says, my grandparents had one of these. My brother ended up with it for a keepsake. I found a few over the years, but either don't have the glass percolator inside or have a metal one instead. And Wendy said, this one was brand new in the box. The box was in terrible shape, but the percolator was shiny and unscratched. Its original price was $4.79, but it had a special price of $3.72. <laughs> It was dated 1972, but she got it free and sold it for $110. Okay, we've got Jamie again, paid $20 at a local online auction, sold in one month for best offer of $110 plus shipping. Double H brand boots, lace up. So you can see very good condition, beautiful leather, um, I have a tag on them. It doesn't say in the listing that they're new with tag, but I do see a tag in that picture. So $20 sold for $110. Okay, Holly Feger. This is an update of the lot of 63 Disney beanbag plushies. I bought for a total of $113 at a Goodwill a couple of weeks ago. This week, 
one Christopher Robin sold for $34.99, and today Song of the South lot of four sold for $110.50. I was nervous about this big of a purchase, but now I'm glad. At the very least, the whole lot has now been paid for and the rest will be pure profit. Lots more to list, but happy with these two sales. 58 left to sell. Excellent. So she bought a bag of all of these plushies for $113 and has already made her money back. Okay, Mark Sherrill says, this was free from my own basement stash of obsolete electronics. Technically, I bought it off one of my college friends for 20 bucks during my sophomore year in 1991. Sold for a best offer of $102 plus $9 shipping. This will take you back down memory lane. Vintage Sony Discman. And this was sold for parts or repair. He said it was not tested, sold for parts. So vintage electronics, great sale. Sue Ann Akers from her death pile. I have no idea where I got it or what I paid. <laughs> Listed for $149 or best offer for six weeks. Took best offer at $115. This is a Ralph Lauren vintage cotton American flag throw blanket. Very cool looking and patriotic. Rosalba Vasquez paid $20 at an estate sale, sold in two days. St. John evening jacket, size four, $115, and she paid 20 bucks for it. Danielle Lee purchased at one of my favorite Goodwills for about $6, sold within a couple of months on best offer. This is a Heron Preston men's pullover hoodie sweatshirt. And Brooke asked, very interesting. I've never heard of this brand before. Is it valuable because it's related to a sport or famous person? And Danielle answered, he's known for his streetwear fashion and being a DJ. Streetwear slash hype wear for men sells really well. I've sold a shirt for $250 before. It's similar to sneakers. I've never heard that term, hype wear, but that's basically where a brand releases an item and it's only available exclusively online for a short period of time. and It's limited in number and the prices on those types of items can go really high. Okay, this is one of my favorite bolos of all time. I remember learning about this the first year I started selling on eBay and Looked for them all the time and found quite a few. Ralph Lauren Crested Logo Blazer. Christy Hensley said, I bought this blazer with a crest in the Goodwill for $10 and sold on April 2nd for $125 plus shipping. The comps were good but varied from $40 to $125. So I started high as it was in new condition, nowhere at all. I usually buy 99 cent items at Goodwill, but when I see a good one for a higher price, I have to get it. So not a bad investment, 10 bucks, and it sold for 125 in a pretty short period of time. We've got another one from Rosalba, paid $20 at an estate sale, sold in 10 minutes. Another St. John item, it's a knit top, full zip, and she sold it for $125. Love finding St. John. And I don't find it all that often, even though I'm in Metro Atlanta and go to a lot of affluent areas to do my sourcing. I just don't find it that much. Maybe all the St. John sellers just get there before I do or something. But um, this was a great sale. $20 for this item. Julia Marchinko sold for $130 full asking price on this 20s Art Deco tapestry bag. Paid $10 at a private buying appointment. Took nine months to sell. So again, it's a 1920s tapestry weave evening bag, or I guess handbag. Egyptian Revival Art Deco. Great keywords on that. 
She paid $10, it sold for $130. Now we've got Julie Harden again. She found this at a thrift store for $7.99, sold in a few days, but the first buyer flaked on me. Relisted and sold it again in a few weeks. This is a watercolor print, 18 by 21 framed. She paid $7.99, it sold for $145.50. Okay, here's another one that's gonna take you down memory lane. Jamie Lynn Galloway paid $10 at a local online auction, sold in one month for $149.97. This is a Panasonic 8-track player stereo record deck with 45 tapes. Now, those of you who are old enough to remember these, um, like how the song would stop in the middle and start on the next track, <laughs> Um, I remember driving around in my car listening to 8-track tapes and just you knew when it was going to switch to the next track and the song would get interrupted in the middle. But let's not kick ourselves for not saving these because who knew they would be eBay gold all these decades later after all the other technology that came out, cassette tapes and CDs and now digital music where you don't even have to have anything. Um, so if you've got boxes of 8-track tapes, you might want to get those out, see if they'll sell. Now, here's another fun one. We've got Pee Wee Herman. What has the world come to when people are making money selling Pee Wee Herman dolls on eBay? <laughs> Terry Gonzalez paid $10 for Pee Wee Herman, sold in about two months for $150. Buyer paid shipping. This is a 1987 Matchbox Pee Wee Herman 17 inch talking doll. I mean, I just have no words um, when Pee Wee Herman sells for $150. I mean, the sky's the limit, right? Carrie McAdams paid about $9 for this, sold in a couple of hours for full asking price of $149.99 plus shipping. Chef's Wear by Towncraft Family Skillet. $9 sold it for $149.99. Jamie Lynn Galloway, once again, maybe we should retitle this video The Jamie Lynn Galloway Show. Paid $10 at a local online auction, sold in one week for $150 plus shipping. This is Pro Plus New Wave Infrared Oven. So it's like a countertop cooking device. $10 sold for $150. And here we have the roller skates everyone's been waiting to hear about. Lisa Acosta paid $9.99 plus tax, sold on five day auction for $150. Rydell Roller Skates size 9AA, white, and this has a funky blue rabbit's foot attached to the side. Each skate has one on it, and these were just like the classic vintage item. Rick says, I've noticed a resurgence in roller skate prices lately. I've been keeping my eyes peeled for them. Well, I guess we all will too, because $10 into $150 in less than a week. That works for me. Okay, Terry Gonzalez has another item. Got this for free at an estate sale. They just wanted it gone. I love picking up these TVs. There are gamers out there that love playing their games on them. Sold for $150. This is a vintage 2002 VCR TV combo. And Kathleen asked, how do you ship these? And Terry answered, I get a box that's a couple of inches bigger on all sides than the TV, line all four sides with one inch styrofoam, and use the bigger size bubble wrap around the entire TV before putting it in the box. I don't send them internationally though. I probably have shipped 10 of these so far with no problem at all. 
Do you know how to resize a box? If not, you can watch a quick video because I usually always have to resize the box. And I actually sold one of these a few months ago. I did it on Facebook Marketplace. So this is something I've started looking for. And really, it's not that big to ship. There's not a bunch of different parts. You just have to cushion it really well. But gamers do use them. So again, she got this free, and it sold for $150 buyer paid shipping. Okay, David Schneider paid $50 on Facebook Marketplace, sold in 24 hours for $170 plus buyer paid shipping. This is a Kurt Kinetic Indoor Cycling Resistance Bike. So that is a very interesting item. I had no idea what it was and still really don't. <laughs> so I guess if you want to see what it does, you can Google a video about that. But it's some kind of workout trainer thing. All right, Diana Duhon paid $2 at an estate sale and sold for full price of $175 plus shipping in 12 hours. A big shout out and thank you to Dawn McMaster for helping me and for her great expertise in vintage lingerie. These were made of different fabrics but looked gorgeous as a set, so she advised me to sell them as a set. And this is a vintage Olga nightgown and robe, full sweep, meaning it has a very full skirt, $2 and sold for $175. Louis Prizzy. Purchased at a local thrift store for $18.99, sold in about two days for full asking price. Mel Blanc Speechless Framed Print Art, Warner Brothers Looney Tunes. And again, that was $19 was his cost, sold for $184.95. And Jill said, oh, we have that. My hubby worked at the Warner Brothers store a long time ago. So these things are out there floating around. Next up is Wendy Watson. Picked this up at a garage sale for $5. Sold within the hour of posting. Listing help from my VA Jen. Keeping my eye out for these. And this is a vintage girls Daisy Kingdom apron dress. Sold for $195.99. She paid five. And what she's talking about there is my virtual assistant service where you send us the pictures and we list your items for you. And uh, we are going on our fifth year of doing this. Thousands and thousands of listings. So my VAs work really hard. They know what they're doing. They're very experienced. And this is what happens when they list your items because they know how to do it correctly. Okay, Ginger bought this Friday for $25 at a garage sale. Sold today for full asking price of $199.99 plus shipping. And Holly said, I have no idea what this actually is, but it looks like technology of some sort. The title of this item is Eschenbach Smart Lux Digital Handheld Video Magnifier. And you might as well have said that in Greek or hieroglyphics because I don't know what that is either. But Ginger said it's a magnifier for sight impaired users. I had no idea either. But she picked it for $25 and sold it for $200, so that works. Now we've got another one from Ginger. Paid $60 for this at an estate sale last week. Sold in a few days for full asking price plus shipping. Vintage Wagner Wear Magnolite Roaster. So a great big stainless steel roaster. Sold for $200. And Kathleen said, did you happen to clean or polish this? I have one that needs some TLC but don't know how to make it shine again. And Ginger said, yes, I did. It wasn't shiny when I got it. I used Barkeeper's Friend and aluminum polish on it. So yeah, sometimes you got to work on these things, but isn't that beautiful and shiny? Next up is Heather Hummel. Bought this at the bins, so less than a dollar. Sold in less than 12 hours. 
This is a 1989 PJ Sparkles, Sparklins Lavender Bunny Rabbit, Mattel. It sold for $214.99 <laughs> for a just squishy little bunny rabbit plush thing. A dollar sold for $215. Laura said, what in particular made you pick it up? And Heather said, it just looked different, so I took a chance. Good philosophy. Okay, Ken McNamara with some pots and pans. Paid $23, sold for $223. Found this complete set at a thrift store. Took an hour to clean them up, but well worth it. Sold in 12 hours. This is a set of Magnolite Professional Stainless Steel an eight piece set. 23 bucks and flipped it for over 200 in 12 hours. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now we've got Cynthia Wilson. Purchased at a thrift store for $7.99 and sold on a seven day auction for $261. Condition was mint. This is a Wedgwood gravy boat with plate. And isn't that pretty? White with the pretty flowers. I think they're flowers. Um, that's just gorgeous. I totally would have picked that up, too. Okay, Alicia Carden paid $13 for this Mac Dougal Couture dress at Goodwill. It sold for $299.25 plus shipping. It had been listed just over one year. I almost gave up on it, but glad I didn't. $13 sold for just under $300. This is a Couture dress, size 4, butterfly, blue, sequined. That's gorgeous. I bet that did sell for a prom. It's very unusual. Now we've got Tom Anderson. Paid $4 for this vintage robe at Goodwill. Took an offer of $300 plus shipping, sold in about a week. This is a vintage Penois robe set. And Laura said, thanks for helping me learn a new term. I have a robe, house dress I'm listing now, and that's a great keyword to add. That's a very vintage word. These used to be very popular. In fact, this one right here reminds me of the show Bewitched, where Samantha Stevens used to wear those types of robes and gowns all the time. In fact, this one here with... The v-neck, the short sleeves, and the pom-poms on the front tie is exactly one that she wore, just a different color. And I used to think, oh, that was just so pretty. I would just love to wear something like that. Of course, I was just a little kid, but I just thought Elizabeth Montgomery was just the most beautiful woman in the world. And I just wanted her to be my mom because, you know, she could make things magically appear or magically disappear. <laughs> and she was so beautiful. Um, I just love watching that show. So. so pardon me as I digress and go down memory lane once again. Seem to be a lot of this type of item in this video. So if you're not looking out for these, Put that one on your list. Okay, now we've got Andy. Saw this gas tank for a 2005 Suzuki Boulevard motorcycle sitting on the shelf at a Volunteers of America thrift store. Mint condition, it was 30 bucks. After quickly looking at the comps, I decided to take a chance thinking that I could get at least 200. When I was listing, I did more in-depth research and decided to price it at 350 plus calculated shipping Buyer sent me a message asking if I would take $320 plus shipping because shipping for him was about $40. I accepted. My biggest sale in six years. Congratulations on that, Andy. What a great pick. And again, the item is a 2005 Suzuki Boulevard fuel tank. She paid $30 bucks and took an offer of $320. And finally, we've got Rick, who bought this last weekend for $55 at an antique festival. It doesn't work, but the condition is so amazing. Shipping it out today. That was on April 5th. This is a clean Marks Linemar Hot Rod Special College Jalopy Remote Control Car Not Working. Wow, that was a mouthful. 
bottom line, $55, sold it for $525, and it doesn't even work. <laughs> uh, this is what keeps me selling on eBay. It's just, it never gets boring, and there's just opportunities everywhere. So thanks again to everyone who posts every week on Money Making Mondays. I hope you learned something new in this video. And don't forget to check out my podcast. I am on Spotify and Apple Podcasts now. And as always, have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.